Hi there and welcome to video 3 which is a, a tutorial on um, the trapezium, the shape called the trapezium. Um, let me remind you what this video is for. This video is mainly for students who have previously sat foundation papers and are trying the higher paper in the summer and in particular my focus is on the AQA Unit 3 higher paper syllabus. How you use these videos is you work through um, my examples in this tutorial and make yourself a revision card that sums up this video and then straight away you move on to the next video which will be video 4 which has all the unit 3 AQA uh, past paper questions that involved a trapezium and you try them and then watch my answers and check you could do them right. Okay let's move straight away uh, on to uh, what a trapezium is. There is a picture of a trapezium. The key thing about a, a trapezium is it has one pair of parallel sides and the other two sides are not parallel. So it's a quadrilateral, okay, so it's a four-sided shape with one pair of parallel sides. So that's the key thing about a trapezium. Now, um, it's always important to label your parallel sides because they're going to be important later. So I would always label them with an arrow to show which ones are parallel. Next thing is, uh, let me just draw another trapezium for you here. There's one uh, parallel side, uh, there's the other. Um, a trapezium does not have to look as regular as the example I, I did up here. Here, this shape is a quadrilateral. It has one pair of parallel sides and the other two are not parallel. Now this shape here, is, it looks like a sort of a, what you might call a regular uh, trapezium, it looks, uh, you know, symmetrical. This angle and this angle are the same, and this angle and this angle are the same, and this is called an isosceles trapezium, okay, where um, each pair of angles are the same. This here is a non-isosceles trapezium, or just a, uh, just a trapezium. Okay, now in the formula book in the exam, you're given um, the area of a trapezium. So usually, um, that's what the questions are asked you, and the area of the trapezium is given in the formula booklet by that formula there. Now, it's just important so that we're able to use this formula here, um, uh, rather than look in the front of the formula book and think, what does that mean? Well, it, the area of a trapezium is a half, A plus B in brackets, multiplied by H. What that's saying, really, is you add up the parallel sides, you work out A plus B, you add A and B, the two parallel sides, you half that, and then you multiply by how far those parallel sides are apart. So you multiply by H. So I thought in the two examples above, we'll do uh, two quick examples to see if we can uh, work use this formula. So imagine that was, uh, say, four, and that was six centimeters in length, and their height apart, let's say, was five centimeters, okay, in that question. Let's say here, um, this was maybe 10 uh, meters, this was, let's say, uh, 20, uh, 15 meters, this side here was, I don't know, let's say 11 meters. This side here was 16 meters. And maybe the distance between them maybe is uh, 10 meters. Okay, what are the areas of these two trapezia? Well, I'm just going to remove that uh, for now. Okay, the area formula of a trapezia, you identify the two parallel sides, which are that one and that one. So if you want to break this formula down, step one, you add up the parallel sides. So you do 4 plus 6 is 10 centimetres. Then you half it. Then you half that number. So step two, you do uh, 10 times a half, or 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And then step three, you multiply by how far they are apart. They're 5 apart. So you do 5 times 5, which is 25. And you do not, whatever you do, forget the unit. We're dealing with centimetres on this uh, trapezium here, so the area unit would be centimetres squared. Okay, and that's how you do the first one. The second one, just notice I put in the slanted sides. Um, just to confuse you, don't use those as your um, height. Your height is the height at right angles to the parallel sides, or the perpendicular height. So again, step one, you add up the two uh, parallel sides, so you do 10 plus 15, is 25 
centimeters. Step two, uh, you half that number, so you do 25 divided by two, or 25 times a half, you get 12.5. And step three, you multiply it by how far they are apart, you do 12.5 multiplied by 10, don't get tricked by the 11 or the 16, and you get 125 centimeters squared. Uh, apologies, I've made a mistake here because uh, th this is nice to show. All these units were in meters, so I need to be very careful here. Um, this was a me meters and the unit was meter squared. So do always check you've got the correct units. When would these distances be important? If they ask the perimeter of the shape. The perimeter would be the 10 plus the 16 plus the 15 plus the 11 and your unit would be meters. Okay, hopefully that's everything you need to know now on, uh, on the trapezium. Move on to the next video, video four, on the exam questions in regards to the trapezium and see if you can work through and answer them. But make sure at the end of this video you have a nice revision card on what a trapezium is, a shape with one pair of parallel sides, and how to use the formula for the area of a trapezium, i.e. you add up the parallel sides, you half it, and you multiply by the perpendicular uh, distance between the two parallel sides. Thank you for listening. Move on to the exam questions video now.